Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz, and welcome to Timberborn, the city builder survival game where beavers survive the apocalypse and are trying to rebuild society under our rule. The climate's got pretty whack though, and there's only two seasons now, the living happy season and the not living season. And our goal is to just survive as long as possible. Also, the game's out on early access now, and has a ton of new features, like a new faction, custom map and scenario design, and a ton more. So click the first link in the description and check out the game for yourself. And thank you, Mechanistry, for sponsoring this video. But oh my goodness, I love this new faction they added to the game. They achieve progress through ingenuity, efficiency, and disregard for their environment. And their motto is work hard, work hard. Yeah, I can relate. Let's rock and roll. So quick little overview of the game. Again, the living season is when there's plenty of water, there's green grass, there's all the happy life and, you know, plants are growing. And then the dead season, well, just the water stops and then everything dies. <laughs> and your goal in the game is to expand as much as possible and survive the dead seasons. So that's gonna kind of be our main goal, to not all die. Because let me tell you, you don't last very long without food or water. But yeah, they have a bunch of new maps too. This map is huge. We can build all across this harvesting whatever we can, building super cities, and harvesting the ruins of old. But right now we have one goal, to get as many trees as possible. Look, the trees, they don't automatically regrow. You have to replant them. So what we harvest right now will kind of be it. So our goal is to get science, and then get this forester building, plant a billion trees, and then we're kind of quote unquote safe but it's very much so like a mad dash because the dead season comes at kind of randomly and can last for random amounts of time. So um, <laughs> we're kind of in a rush here, but okay. We set up little lumberjack flags to get workers to chop down trees. Excellent. Let's do the same with the foo. And oh my gosh, we get blueberries. I, I love blueberries. I have a unnatural love for blueberries. They are my favorite. And now the beavers get them too. Right, so we'll build a couple flags for them. Couple pass out that way. And we can gather food and lumber. Of course, we gotta store stuff like any city does. So we'll put a little log pile over here. And we'll need a bunch of storage buildings as well for berries and other goods. So we'll just put that right up in front. Awesome. Now the buildings look kind of hmm. Well, that's because you can actually stack everything on top of each other. So say we have this log pile thing here. We can just stack it, stack it, stack it, stack it and have these towering super cities of beavers. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but it's very unique and I like it a lot. Like once you really get into like a higher population, things can get pretty dang crazy. Okay, but the berries, although they're a good food, we need more food because higher population is important too. So a lot of our beavers will go to work in these farmhouses here. Suppose we could build them like here, maybe like over here. Yeah, that's better. The thing is, this green space, we can grow things. The not green space, we can't grow things. So the green space is hyper, hyper valuable. So we want to build kind of our infrastructure on the dead ground and then all the farms on the green ground. We'll just do this. We'll lose a little bit of green space, but it is what it is. And then we'll plant like four bajillion carrots. And that's kind of like the intro to the game. I know we're moving very fast, but again, like disaster is imminent. So we really just want to move quickly. They want water? Psh, beavers want water? Really? Okay, there we go. We can pump up some water there and store it in a barrel just over in our town. We'll just have that facing this way. We'll have two of them, in fact. Good. I think this little warning arrow means that the beavers are going to uh, not survive <laughs> if that is not fulfilled. So let's make this um, a hyper priority. Thank you. Uh, and let's pause literally everything else. Please, get that, get that going. More workers, get to it. Don't sleep, are they gonna go to sleep? Come on. Your motto is work hard, work hard. So how about we just bump up the working hours to about 20 hours a day. Tis your motto, I'm just following your culture, not pushing you to the brink of death at all. <laughs> Oh, okay though, we got the pump. We don't have workers. Stop being a builder. Boop boop. And uh, you're gonna work here, right? No employed people. Uh, stop working here. Stop working. Nope, that's literally it. All the people we could assign, 
being assigned. Okay. And we got a worker over here. Thank goodness. No more thirst, right? Oh, wait. That's because, like, half of our people died. We started with, like, 12, and we only have five beavers left. Huh. Whoops. Let's try that again. Okay, much better. We actually have water now. We got food. And now we're okay. Still, though, we're running out of our main resource. So we have to get tree planting immediately. So the forester. The forester needs science, though. So we'll build a little science house right here. Good. The science wheels are a spinning. Next up, we're doing pretty well on berries. So you know what? Instead of building the farms, we're going to build houses. Uh, if we build more houses, oh my gosh, uh, we can get more beavers. But what is that? Barracks, shared housing, and inhabits 10 people? Oh my gosh, that thing is huge. And then what's this? Breeding pod? Oh my gosh. The iron teeth preferred and only way to reproduce. So that is really different from the other faction, where you had to build just houses here, and they did their thing. But these need breeding pods. Okay, so we have our first one. Breeding progress. Dude, this is like horrific. Ew, there's a beaver in there. This game is uh, very unique. In the meantime though, more science. It's already been four days and I'm getting scared. So let's get a little bit more soon. Good, carrots all planted. Now get out. There's a lot of other jobs to do. Built another house as well so we can support our growing population. And now we have to relax. Ah, uh, we are running out of trees very quickly. But wait, the science. It's at 99. We can get it. We can build the forester or we can unlock it. But now we need planks. So we start have to start getting into like power and stuff. <laughs> it's all super crazy because check this out. All of the power is like kinetic with like logs and stuff like that. You see, it's like all gears, kind of like steampunky. But of course, as we get started, we actually have a hamster wheel that will be providing power. Or we could build a water wheel as well, but I don't want to build a lot of industry over our green space right now. I'd rather build it on the dirt. So lumber mill, you're gonna go right there, bud. Running wheel will just be right next to it. Good. And then we just have a path. Awesome. Beaver power online. Let's get ourselves some planks. All we need are seven. So run faster, you fool. Speed it up. Oh, thank goodness. We got it. We can kind of relax a bit now and plant some trees. Okay. Uh, there's a bunch of different types of trees. So there's birch, pine, and maple. And birch grows really quick, like in nine days, but you only get one log. Pine takes a bit longer, but you get two logs. And then maple takes 28 days, but you get eight logs. So you really want to grow a bunch of different tree types. <sighs> can kind of finally breathe now. Wait a second, what am I saying? We're beavers, and we're about to run out of water. What do you have to do? You have to dam in the water, of course. Oh my gosh. So we're gonna be building a dam. This is like one of the most important things in the game, is building dams. So we can clog up the water and keep it here for when the water just stops in the dead season. It'll give us a, a little bit more time to survive. We can also make a levy for 120 science points, yeah. Let's unlock that. We'll have a levee next door, just to help block in more water. Awesome. We are good. The high water here means we have a lot of water supply. And oh my gosh. Too much water. Help, break the levee. Break the levee. There's too much water. No. <laughs> we lose so many resources from that. At least we didn't lose the building. I bet, oh, did we just lose a ton of crops? Did we lose any pe beavers? No, we got 13 beavers. Okay, 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 okay. We're fine. I've never actually had that happen before. <laughs> I guess they're beavers, they can swim, right? Right? Let's just make it a dam then. Let's not overdo it and have that happen again, please. Thank you. No. No! The dreaded bonking. Three days until the end of the world. Oh, but we got our dams complete, good. No flooding this time either, excellent. Now we must prepare, 2.5 days. We have a lot of water stored, good. Gather up whatever food you can, people. Get the food. Yep, we're out of trees too, so 
not a lot more cards to play here. The only question now is, can we survive? Okay, and three, two, one. Here we go. Hopefully this drought isn't long. Four days? That's long. Oh no. Okay, well, what happens now? The water stops coming, and all the life dies. <laughs> so no more trees, no more green grass. All goes bye-bye. No more growing of anything. No more life. No more nothing. No more wo- uh, It's all gone. Well, for most of the world. But because we built this dam in time, the water up here near our village survives. Now we're not getting new water though. So we kind of have to really watch this water level carefully. So first day of the dry season done. Awesome. Again, yeah, we're looking pretty good here. It's just the droughts are randomized, so I don't know how good we'll be for the next one. So we need to prepare still. We always have to prepare. It's kind of the name of the game here. So we have berries, we have carrots. Let's get some potatoes moving and grooving. Because with the potatoes, we can throw those in a grill. And for every one potato we harvest, we can make four grilled potatoes. So pretty strong. So we'll turn this area up here into potato paradise. Ooh, and the trees are starting to grow up so we can replenish our stockpile of logs. I'm good. The grill is done. Potatoes, anyone? Too bad. They still have to grow. So get back to work. Oh, wait. The drought's ended. <gasps> We're free. We're free. Life returns to the valley. Come back. Feed the berries. Bring them life. Do it now. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Thank goodness, dude. And that leads us to our next order of business, which is going to be power and industry. Which is honestly going to be quite a significant endeavor. So we'll build two water wheels over here, but then we need to bring the power, the kinetic energy, all the way over to here. So we can build our factories on the dirt and not the green space. So we need to bring the power up to these raised platforms here. So the spinning of the water wheel can be used on the other side of our city. But yeah, it's gonna take like a long, long time, like probably an entire like cycle. So in the meantime, we're getting potatoes. And watch that food explode from like 200-ish to 300-ish and beyond. Round two. Well, we have almost 500 food now and the water situation's still looking good. So I think we're gonna be just fine. But to be cautious, you know, to be cautious. We can build another dam across here, and that'll just hold the water back even more. And I kinda like that idea. And we had plenty of time to finish it up too. But now the drought has started. Uh, how long is it? Four days? Well, we just did that before, and we're in an even better spot now. So that'll be fine. <laughs> What's not fine is I, I made a goof. I made a big goof. We're making these like power lines, right? Effectively. And these like contraptions to bring the power from down here to up here need gears, which kind of sucks a lot because we'd now have to waste a ton of lumber. First, we got to unlock the gear workshop. Next, we got to stock up on planks so we have enough to build it. Then we need to delete the lumber mill, which we get no resources back for and replace it with the gear workshop. And we had to do that so we can build this beside our existing power. Cause this thing won't have power until we have the gears. <sighs> and then this will be right in the way of our power line and then we'll have to delete this again and it's just... Okay, look, I didn't plan everything perfectly, but we made it to our second dry season. So you know, some things are working out. But now the drought has ended and we have our gears. So now, once the water starts a flowing again, these will get moving, and now we're grooving. Wait, oh my gosh. No. No! I've made such a critical mistake! <laughs> the pain. We have to have the power get down from up here to go down here. So we need another gear, but to get another gear, we need another plank. Ah! Enough. Enough. I have to live with this failure now. 
So you know what, let's actually take half a second and plan things out. Well, we're gonna want a ton of these lumber mills because we're gonna need planks for like a lot of stuff. So we'll get them placed there for now. Then of course we'll want the gears. And then to connect up the power, you just have to build the log things right next to these. So have that there, have that there, there, and then that's the end of the road. So that's pretty simple. Then you want the power to get over here. Then we'll need some paths going through here. So we'll do a little of this, a little of that. And last but not least, we can put a bunch of buildings on this side too. So we'll delete every second one of these so we can have a little power connection. Then we'll figure out what to do with that power connection later. Oh wait, we know what we have to build. We have to build the freaking power wheel. <laughs> Such a waste. Such a waste of resources. Are we doing this? Yep. Oh, but you know what I just realized? During the drought season, the water isn't flowing, so these water wheels don't work. So we actually kind of do need to have these things permanently built. Like, I always think like, ah, oh, these seem so primitive. We don't want to use them forever, right? But at the end of the day, we kind of have to. So hey, let's just build a couple in there then. And hey, look at that. After all that complaining, this actually helps us be more prepared for the next dry season. Gotta love it. And you know what? I am honestly so impressed. We are going to build the beavers some fire pits to hang out at. Just call me a saint. Or if you're so kind, leave me a like. Even after my blunders. Oh my god, we got it. We got it. We got the one gear. All this stuff was built. Just build this one thing. It is the highest priority thing. Oh my gosh. It's glorious. It's glorious! We now have 460 horsepower of power with the two wheels and the water wheels. Honestly now though, we can just pause these, we're fine. We have employees now running everything. Oh! Now we get to scale out of control. So more beaver breeding pods. Let's build barracks out the Huazu and unlock some super important stuff. Dry seasons. Beware. And the best part of all is we can start stacking buildings all over the place, making crazy beaver skyscrapers. Oh yeah, we were able to go absolutely crazy. Added in a ton of new stuff as well. A new water wheel, a bunch of extra water extractors, more trees to plant so we can get more logs of course, more buildings over here, more houses. Oh my goodness. We have really made the most of the space we have here. But I want more. All of the area around us is up for grabs. We just have to go get it. And the only way to do that is by building some stairs right over here. So we'd have a path that goes down this way, and then we can build on this plateau, we can stairway over this way, down to here, get some metal, and soon we can get explosives redirect some rivers and <laughs> we're gonna be able to do some cool stuff there we go well we have our main district right here which is from this main building and you can see like the outline of it is where we can build in that district but we can build a brand new district we just have to make a district gate like this and then a new district center which is exactly the same as the thing we started with so we get all the resources that we gathered so far and can use them all to make a brand new city. But before that, we're gonna clean up as much as we possibly can here. Get rid of all these freaking trees. All right, so they're cleaning that up pretty well. So let's go ahead and make our new district gate. And we're actually gonna make it up this mountain here. So all the way up top here is gonna be its own little place. And all down here is gonna be another. There we go, we put that down. And everyone's like, bro, what's going on? Well, that's because we need a new district center to have actual workers here and stuff. And the actual district center, though, is gonna be way over here. It's actually gonna be more central. Like, this new district is gonna be like all of this. So, a lot of space. Finally, we need to migrate population over there. So we got a bunch of beavers. Let's just send over, I don't know, nine. Trouble is, they're all on their own now. So we gotta ship over some goods so they can actually survive in the new district. So we got this huge circus looking distribution post here and a drop off post. And with these, we can have beavers ferry things back and forth between the districts. 
until at least the second district can stand on its own. Ooh, and also, we can build a dam over here, because these people are going to have their own little problems now. Speaking of! Oh, but just in time, bud. We got it. Okay, one and a half days left. We are good. This is flooding. Hey! <laughs> That's kind of working for us. We're just, we're just gonna, okay, okay, okay. This is not the best, best idea, but we're just gonna wait a second. Okay. You know, that wasn't exactly the plan, but that kind of worked out in our favor now, didn't it? Uh, we'll get rid of that now. Replace it with just a normal dam. That's not a levee and completely blocks off the water. And there we go. Now we have this huge hole full of water, which we can get stuff from. <laughs> How do I keep getting away with this? Oh, it's so great. And now we can have this here, and we can draw from the water in there during the drought. Ah, and the new dam's almost done too. Please, we're gonna lose all the water behind it if we don't have this completed. <laughs> it needs like one nail. Ugh, well, we got it done, but yeah, no, we're losing all that water. Thank goodness for the pit. Yeah, so that ended up being a seven day drought. And if not for the pit, District 2 would have gone bye-bye. But we survived. This district's looking healthy. We got the potatoes going. We got carrots going. Look at all that life. That beautiful, beautiful life. With our brand new dam as well. And man, there's so much we can do now. We have a whole new district. We have access to metal. By the way, there's also explosives in the game we can get. <laughs> and a ton of cool monuments as well. However, though, I think that's going to be all for today, so I hope you guys enjoyed. And again, remember to check out the link in the description to try the game out for yourself. But for now, have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye